brewing tonight over the proposed sale of a public street in Manti to the LDS Church. The city of Manti wants to sell one block of First East at Fourth North. It's a dead-end street that sits between the LDS Temple and Church History Center in town. But some are already crying foul over the deal, saying First Amendment rights are now at stake on the roadway. Fox 13's Sandy Reesgraff explains. Well, people in this town of 3,200 really are torn over the proposed sale of this street to the LDS Church. Manti's mayor says it's a dead-end road that's right between the temple here and the church history center. So she says it's pretty much a private road anyway, so why not sell it to someone else who can pay for the upkeep? 100 East is sandwiched between two LDS church-owned properties, and you can no longer exit the street onto Highway 89 because UDOT deemed it too dangerous. So the city wants to sell the dead-end street to the church for $100,000. I do think that, you know, a street being public means that we should be able to use it year-round, given that... You know, during the pageant, maybe shut it down for people's safety, but other than that, you know, we live here in this town and we've used that road. As a privately owned roadway, the church could control free speech on 100 East. That's especially concerning to some because protesters routinely gather here during the summer Mormon miracle pageant that's held on the lawn of the temple. It would stop the protesters from protesting during the pageant. And they come and protest and protest and protest and do all their BS, and it's just... Enough is enough. The city's mayor was out of town, but by phone, Natasha Madsen told us there's plenty of room for protesters to gather on 400 North during the Mormon pageant. She said selling the road just makes sense for a city that doesn't have a lot of money to spare. Whatever the LDS church does, then generally is done beautifully as they enhance property. And we felt like this would hopefully increase tourism in the area. We just felt like it would be a win-win situation. The head of the American Civil Liberties Union in Utah says selling a public road to a private entity is never a good idea. Others agree. I don't know. I just think that, I mean, if it, it may be a small issue to some people, it may just be a road, but I mean, where does it end, you know? If they're able to, you know, to block off an access road, that, that the public has access to, you know. It's not really the road, it's the point that matters. I mean, where does it end? Now, the ACLU told me this afternoon that they will likely fight this in court if it comes to that. Uh, no decision has been made by the city of Manti yet, but the city council would like to vote on this by the end of the year. Meantime, the church, the LDS church, in a statement today says they are in discussions with the city of Manti to determine the viability of buying this street. In Manti, Sandy Reesgraff, Fox 13 News, Utah. In 1999, the Salt Lake City Council voted 5-2 to two to sell a block of downtown Salt Lake to the LDS Church. The ACLU tried to block the sale because protesters during LDS General Conference would no longer have access to the previously public property. The city agreed to give up the easement along Main Street in exchange for land for a community center on Salt Lake's west side. Various so uh, lawsuits surrounding the sale worked their way through the courts until in 2005, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled the Main Street Plaza was no longer a public forum and that the sale did not violate the Constitution.